Hey everybody, it's Zangano once again. I'm finally back! Yay! I've been really busy with work. Sorry guys. Lots of Spanish, uh, old Spanish stuff to do. But this is not what we're going to talk about. Today is going to be another game from MLG. And this is going to be quite a big game for me. Uh, these, This is literally my number one favorite player versus my number two favorite player. This is TLO from Team Liquid flying against none other than EG Machine. So, will the mechanics of Machine outplay the creativity of TLO? We're going to have to find out. So, this is going to be a really big match. I'm super, super, super excited. As you can see, no overpool. We're looking we're looking at a Overlord at 9 for Machine, which is uh, fairly standard. I mean, I think that's winning out over the overpool, but... Or, sorry, Extractor Trek. I don't even know why I say over, Overpool is such a Brood War term. Uh, over up in this corner, we've got the obvious first step for the Terran is to put up a Supply Depot and to wall off because Zerglings can be deadly. Down here, Machine's got his second Overlord up and he's still producing drones. I mean, so far, there's not much more standard you could play. And as you can see, the barracks is going up at 12 supply for the our Terran friend, which is fine. He's uh, wanting to get his mules early and, of course, enjoy marine action. Now, it's what he builds after this is what's important. He does have gas going up, and everything seems to be rather standard so far. Nothing too crazy. Uh, at 15 supply, we do have a hatchery going down for Machine, which means he's doing a hatch first play, which is a good way to get an economic advantage in the early game if you can uh, secure it, because it is makes you vulnerable a little bit longer than other players to things like bunker rushes and various other cheeses, or as you could say, bulldoggy type tactics. So you can see we got the first barracks coming out for TLO and uh, the drone scout is going to sneak by. That wasn't a complete wall off. And another supply depot. Ooh! Managed to cancel supply depot by a little bit. And of course, the orbital command coming up. So where is this drone going to go? He sees that there is a Rax and one gas. So he is going to know that he's not expecting something like a Banshee rush or anything like that. TLO is trying to send his one marine out to go chase the drone but it's going to be a futile effort. So he's probably just going to take the Selnaga watchtower and as you can see, we have a spawning pool going down for our Zurg opponent. And I would not be surprised to see two queens come up as soon as that is finished, because it's going to finish around the same time that that hatchery does. And he's already transferring the drones, which means that, yeah, it's going to be done right on time. This marine is going to go scout to go look for which base he's in, because he's either going to be in this one or this one. I recall that is how MLG Shakuris works. I am not 100% sure, but uh, I do know that they have a different spawning point because they kept the rocks up here. Oh, nope. Okay, apparently they didn't. So, ignore that. So we got a reactor going down for TLO, which you're gonna see a lot of Marines, and a factory, which is just about finished. So we're either going to see a bit of play with a lot of Hellions or Sorry, just a little bit of coffee there. Or we're going to see... Yep, he's flying off the, the factory, so we're definitely going to see some sort of Hellion harass, which is uh, fairly powerful against Zerg. But as you can see, the spine crawler here, and the queen, as well as the queen here, and he should be getting speed very soon. But all of those are going to just keep... Uh, they're going to keep the probably the Hellion harassment at bay, especially with the creep there which means that the queens can get to the front lines pretty fast. I would not imagine this doing too much damage. Machine is scouting this out pretty well. He's going to see this Hellion way before it arrives. Or no, he's going to do a push out with a Hellion and two Marines. Okay, so this is a little bit more deadly uh, with just one spine crawler. He's going to need to make units very soon. And uh, he just had a larva spawn, so he does make four Zerglings, which is not going to be enough to handle this, but the Queens plus the spine crawler plus the Zerglings, I, actually that might work. And speed just started very late speed, I'm uh, very concerned about that. And the creep is now connected so that the two Queens can get to the front of the base in emergency pretty fast. And we got a spine crawler going down for machine, which is uh, 
good answer. He does know that he has got uh, Hellions coming down his base. And uh, TLO is switching the factory for the tech lab and making us for siege tanks. So siege mode will not be close behind. And here we go. The Hellions try to poke into the base, but as you can see, they are a little bit held off by a queen and two spine crawlers as well as uh, these zerglings, six zerglings he's got hiding in the back, which are do not have speed, which means they're not going to be too effective against the Hellions, but these Hellions are doing all right. Are right, They're not doing much damage. They're keeping him on two bases, which I'm sure was his intention. Second base going up for TLO. He's already upgrading it to a new uh, uh, Terran-free gold machine, or the Orbital Command, as you would call it by some people. And, as you can see, production very high for our Zerg player. He's got an Evo Chamber going down, he's got 12 Zerglings in production, and Banelings coming out with speed in production, and his lair... Ooh, he cancels the Evolution Chamber, which means he's not expecting air, or he has a different plan. Because that's all, because, you know, upgrades are good, but uh, he does move out with the Speedlings to get a restaurant on these uh, Hellions, but they're being very annoying, especially with the SCV going around repairing them, and those... Hellions are just destroying those Zerglings without getting much damage done at all. Really good micro on TLO's part there. Unfortunately, loses one Hellion for 12 Zerglings, which is a fair trade. Ga double gas going up at the expansion for TLO. I'm sorry, for Machine. And a Spire going down. So we're going to see the typical uh, unit mixture for ZVT, which is Zerglings, Banelings, and Mutalisks. The Queen... See off the front. This is like a third queen, I believe. Yeah, so she's just for creep. She really wants creep. And there goes down a barracks right in the front. Interesting choice, actually. I don't. Uh, lots of damage. Makes something annoying for the Zerglings to have to run around. It's very powerful. So you see, the Zerglings do get to kill one more. But as you can see, here comes a push out from TLO. Whole bunch of Marines and three tanks. This is a very deadly situation for our Zerg opponent. What is he going to do in this situation? He makes a bunch of Banelings, but is TLO going to hold off long enough for them to finish? No, he pushes up with two tanks to sit up behind, and he does go for the Overlords, which are in a vulnerable position. The Zerglings come out and try to push them back, but they just run back into the tank line and annihilate the Zerglings. They do go for the second... second... spine crawler, and now two Queens, Zerglings, and Banelings can they attack this? He's going to choose just the right moment to get these out. But the tanks are sieged, which means that they're not going to be able to do as much damage as they want. He does make a rush. He goes. The Banelings, they run into the tanks. The tank's almost dead, but still no damage. Very little damage done by that attack. But the Marines are handled. And, but, uh, Tilo responding right away with another tank. And, of course, the barracks that he built in the front, just making Marines... He needs a lot of Zerglings right now. He has three Mutalists in production and six Zerglings. The Zerglings do kill one tank. They go for the second tank. They're going to get this tank. And now they have a Barracks to deal with. But TLO's probably just going to fly it away. But that was a very good containment breaking uh, machine. Showing that playing passive and, and playing defensively still pays off in the end. Now the whole thing ends with Machine a little bit further ahead than TLO. TLO with only 18 Marines on a single tank while our Zerg Machine friend is getting ready to take his third. And he has a decent enough defending army. They are pushing out, but they decide to retreat at the last minute because they do see the Mutalisks. But he uh, faints. The Mutalisks are designed to keep the Terran in his base, but he's getting ready. He's pushed, got a whole bunch of Marines and tanks. And he's going to go into defensive mode for a little bit here. Which gives Machine just enough time to keep up with his overwhelming drone production. Machine, well known for his excellent mechanics and amazing macro. Falling a little bit behind TLO in food count. But he is trying to get a few kills in. I don't think uh, anything too serious. He does have centrifugal hooks for the Banelings. And uh, those Mutalisks are just effectively keeping our Terran opponent in his base for the time being until he can get turrets up. Mutalisks come up here. They did get a few pokes in. 
And he's still, he's trying to mic, he's microing, uh, he's still, he's got, he's keeping the Terran off balance, which is a good thing. And, uh, the third hatchery almost complete. He should be, uh, Maynarding some of his drones right now. And he does have melee weapons being researched for, uh, in the evolution chamber. Does he have upgrades going down on his spire? I wonder. Yes, he does. He's got plus one attack for the Mutilus in production. And right now, I feel like he's in a decent position. Uh, the bait, the... He does have extreme good map control. His ma his uh, creep highway is very good. Uh, the third queen really paying off. Just you being able to drop these spy uh, these creep colonies or these creep tumors like nothing. Uh, TLO does have the shield upgrade for the marines now, and uh, taking his own third, which means that of course machine will be prompted to take his fourth to stay at base ahead. That's just uh, how Zerg works. He does snipe off one little marine there.